stress can actually affect your heart. Now, maybe this is not surprising. Maybe it is. We know how stressful being stressed is, right? It's absolutely horrible and it affects so much of our lives, but it can also affect our hearts. Guys, I'm going to tell you how. Also going to tell you how to reduce your stress just a little bit. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. The first thing you should know is that negative mental health states has been associated with an increased risk of heart disease and stroke. That's the first thing you should know right off the bat. But let's talk specifically about stress and how how it can impact our heart in general. Now, first of all, let's talk about the coping mechanisms, right? When we are stressed, are we maybe at our best in terms of healthy habits? Maybe not. We might be indulging in foods that are not as healthy for us. We might turn to smoking or alcohol or other substances that we really shouldn't be turning to. Uh, we might not be exercising the way that we're supposed to. We might not be taking our medications the way that we're supposed to either. We might be indulging in more comfort foods, things to help the stress. So there's, first of all, this sort of behavioral aspect that um, stress can sort of have on our bodies in general. And of course, all of those things I just mentioned can impact your heart negatively. But let's go to more specifics, okay? We do know that stress can affect our hearts in terms of something called broken heart syndrome. Check out that video. It's really interesting, by the way. Also, what else does stress do? Well, it can increase our blood pressure for one. And we know that high blood pressure is a risk factor for heart attacks and strokes and so many other things. Um, you know, that is is a, a big one right there. And I know you guys have probably heard that, but you know, kind of keep that in mind. Again, we're talking about all the different ways that stress can literally affect our hearts, which is a lot of ways. Um, let's just talk about sort of once again, the negative mental health aspects and other things they can do. Now with this, I'm talking about things like depression, anxiety, chronic stress, other stuff, but we do know that these things have been associated with potentially harmful cardiac or heart responses. That's things like an irregular heart rhythm, uh, high blood pressure. We talked about that inflammation and even lower blood flow to the heart. All of those things are not ideal. And of course, when we have positive mental health experiences, um, we actually have a lower risk of heart disease, lower blood pressure, better blood sugar, less inflammation and lower cholesterol. All of those are win-win-win. I know you guys were like, all right, Dr. Jen, so you're telling us all the problems that um, stress can cause on our heart. Well, it's probably not all of them, but certainly enough for you guys to get the idea. What are things we can do? Okay. Now I know it's not as easy as just saying, oh, be less stressed. Just go ahead and do it. Don't worry. Don't be stressed. Don't, you know, look, we live in, uh, what, what day and age do we live in? Come on, y'all. We know it's not as easy as that. But we can work every day to try to minimize our stress. That is things like making sure that we're exercising, um, that you're focusing on yourself. If you've never felt like you had permission to do that, well, I am here to give you permission to do that. Focus on you uh, because you matter so, so much. Also, making sure that you're getting enough sleep, eating healthy. I know it's tough, but hey, that's about putting you first as well. And then also watching out for warning signs, heart warning signs. And part of putting yourself first also uh, includes things like making sure you're getting your regular checkups. Guys, all of these things are important. There are many other ways to try to work to lower stress and to take care of yourself. Those are just a few, but please understand that stress not only affects your mind, but it affects your body as well. And your heart can totally, completely, and truly be negatively impacted by stress. Guys, I hope this is helpful. Let me know what you do to release stress in the comments. I want to hear from you. Uh, if you've not liked and followed my page, please do. For those of you who send stars, I respond to you personally. Consider joining my subscription groups called Dr. Jen Superstars, as well as my other groups. Uh, also, for those of you on YouTube, hello, I see you. Uh, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell for updates. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.